hey, um, this net freak, this time I, this is a uh, quite strange kind of experiment, uh, trying to figure out how to do this kind of a platform, uh, six de degrees of freedom thing. Um, this time, well, okay, now I have a car here. Uh, they, um, one way is to uh, uh, have some data that moves this platform. And I actually found out the uh, uh, project cars is actually doing that. Um, uh, you can, from the settings, you can set up a um, uh, UDP broadcasting of the telemetry, <laughs> sorry, telemetry data from the uh, game. So um, uh, what I did, I was a, I, I, I found the um, UDP uh, C sharp class from Mr. Leroy the Legend, how to to unpack the UDP data because so if we're using this kind of a uh, regular uh, blocking like this, so a simple TCP UDP so connection connection client, it just reads those uh, like strings unpacked. So um, at least I don't know how to currently unpack those messages in the Unreal Engine. So I, what I did uh, with help of uh, Mr. Leroy the King, or the most name, Leroy the Legend, uh, how to unpack the telemetry data. That's a very, very great class of, of stuff what he has done. Um, anyway, I created this kind of a wrapper. Uh, that they, this is actually sent to uh, uh, port 5606. This is the kind of a uh, project cars uh, to uh, inbound UDP uh, stuff that is coming in, lots of that. And then once read and parsed, unpacked, uh, this is actually saying that again uh, to the Unreal Engine. And, uh, for that purposes, I created a new uh, port uh, six, uh, 5600. So immediately when this thing reads and unpacks the kind of a derivative flotation from all those different angles, it actually creates a new semicolon uh, string and posts that to the uh, 5600 port. Let's put it on. And I... Um, Here's the thing. Uh, uh, this is a very basic. Um, I have a UDP class that, that is using uh, the blocking that I just showed you. It initiates the, the connection, and then it starts listening to incoming UDP messages. And once um, one string or data is uh, stored, it will actually then uh, rotate the uh, platform according to the data that is taken taken in, in this uh, case from the uh, project cars that is over here. So um, let's try it out. So um, where's the uh, visual systems here? So it's running, where is it? There. Let's put this way here, start listening. Um, and then let's try a bit. So now you can see this uh, data flowing. Uh, I don't know whether they are really raw bits and yaw, but um, I just connected them and it looks quite uh, proper data. And of course, the kind of a uh, um, frame rate of the Andre engine is very low as I'm having the project cars on top of the all other uh, screens. But anyway, let's try. This is not a Porsche, this is some Mitsubishi, but anyway, you can see the movement. Let's change the uh, view. Of the, uh, uh, let's put it over here, maybe. Like 
this. Okay, and here. So like this, I'm not really sure if I have connected this to right uh, uh, axles and this might be also radians. So, but this doesn't look like radiant because it's all one. Uh, all one. So, but the, anyway, um, this is some progress. Let's see what happens next time because I, well, what I'm trying to do here is is to create a kind of an Unreal Engine game that actually uh, then uh, controls this kind of platform. And of course, I don't have this kind of platform yet. It needs to be built somehow. So, <laughs> let's see what happens.